Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I am the Lone Wolf and this is the next episode of the Farming Simulator in-game garage tour. And today we are looking at miscellaneous harvesters. This goes anywhere from tree harvesters to forage harvesters. And we are going to be starting with forage harvesters right over here. And by the way, guys, just today, since I have so much in this uh, video, I have more than 10, I am not going to be taking test drives unless it is something like really big. I'll take a test drive of one forage harvester, one beet harvester, the potato harvester, and then um, the cotton and sugar cane, and then one uh, tree harvester. So yeah, just to keep it a little shorter. First, we have the Rostomash. This is the RSM F2650. The specs on this are 478 kilowatts and 650 horsepower. 1500 liters of fuel, 200 liters of DEF, and if I have not told you in a previous video, DEF is diesel exhaust fluid, which is an emission standard thing that it was made by the EPA a few years ago. 24 mile per hour max speed and can be attached to the 360 plus head, which I will show you, but I will not buy. This is the 360 plus. All you will see when it is attached is the red and white. The yellow casing is just a bracket. $89,000 for that, or $80,000 for that header. Um, for the forage harvester, it is $305,000 base price, but when you add the $2,000 for wide tires, it makes it $307,000. Interior of this is very nice. It's very nice to look at just because it's a br nice white color. It's not too harsh to look at. All I'm going to show you is the startup. Very nice sounding engine, and then of course unfold the pipe and that is what it looked like right when it would be ready to harvest next we have the um new holland this is the forage cruiser fr 780 this has 570 kilowatts, 775 horsepower, 1200 liter fuel tank, and 200 liter def tank. 24 mile per hour max speed and can be attached to the SFI 900, which is this header right here. Nine meters wide and uh, no bracket on this, it just unfolds and it is $120,000. This uh, harvester is 364000 but it was 366000 when you add the $2,000 wide tires. Interior is kind of nice. I like the blue seats, of course, and it has a very modern touch to it. Uh, startup sound. It's got a nice uh, warm rumble to it. It's not too harsh. And of course, when the pipe is out, it looks just like that. Next, we move on to the Crone Big X1180. This is the biggest forage harvester in game. The specs on it are um, 850 kilowatts and a whopping 1156 horsepower, 1290 liter fuel tank, and 200 liter def tank, 24 mile per hour max speed, and can be attached to the X Collect. 900-3 uh, that is this header right here and it is actually a, a trifold one side folds out and then the other side folds out uh, in like a sandwich $120,000 for that header as well and it is 9 meters wide um, 515000 for this uh, harvester and Trelleborg wheels you have wide tires or standard Michelin, you have wide tires or standard. And Midas, you have wide tires or standard. All are $2,000 extra for uh, wide tires, but I think Trelleborgs look the best. Pipe, you can add a long pipe for $1,000 extra dollars to make the maximum price for this Crone Big X1180, $518,000. Interior, I like the gray, and I love how it has Crone on the head. Uh, Headrest, 
the stuff looks seems like it's very low in the um, cockpit when you look down at it, but no matter, the startup sound is like this. It's got a good diesel rumble to it. Now, you can fold out the, he the pipe, which unfolds like that and is very long. It's really cool. But you can also unfold the header or harvester. Hang on. There we go. See? It unfolds the uh, harvester, and when you're inside, it even uh, lowers. Isn't that cool? But this one, we're going to take it for a ride. Just around the around where the cotton harvester is. I'm just going to fold up the pipe so it's not in the way. Pretty fast uh, maximum speed. Yee! And I didn't even crash to into anything. That is a score. But yeah, then we'll just back up right here, and we will move on to our next category of miscellaneous harvesters. There we go. So our next category is going to be this uh, potato harvester. This is a Grimmy Veritron 470 Platinum Terra Track, I think. Uh, Veritron, it doesn't tell me exactly, but I think that's the name of it. Uh, specs on this, it has 320 kilowatts and 435 horsepower, 600 liter fuel tank and 40 liter def tank, 15 mile per hour max speed, 9,590 liter uh, uh, tank capacity, 3 meter wide work width and 6 mile per hour work speed. Can only harvest potatoes, and I got the name right actually. The Ferratron 470 Platinum TerraTrack, $496,000. And no extra configuration, so that's 496 is going to be your full price. Let's take this for a ride since it's the only potato harvester. Interior, plain but simple. And it's got four monitors. What more can you ask? And this probably has got the best engine sound too. Really cool. As you can see, as you can probably tell from this video compared to my other videos, I'm kind of trying, I'm kind of rushing a little bit. I'm sorry for that if you guys don't like it when I rush, but um, I'm stuffing a little bit more into this video than I have in the other ones. The maximum I've ever had in a video is 10 vehicles, and here I have a quite a bit, or a little bit more than that, so I kind of just want to keep the video uh, a little shorter than other uh, videos. Just so this isn't like an hour and a half long video. Yeah, that's the Groomy Veritron 470 Platinum Terra Track. This is the only self-propelled um, potato harvester in game. Next, we move on to beat technology. This is kind of backwards. Just like the um, forage harvesters, I went this way instead of this way, and then move on potatoes, and then move on to beets. I got to go this way for beets. This is the Panther 2 from Ropa. You can this picture is absolutely dope. I mean, look at that. The Panther. It just gobbles up those sugar beets. The specs on this are um 515 kilowatts, 700 horsepower, 1320 liter fuel tank and 145 liter def tank, 24 mile per hour max speed, uh 30,000 liter uh tank capacity and can be attached to the RR6545, which is this header right here. Can be changed from RIS45 to RASW45, which only adds 1,000, which makes the maximum price for this header $55,000. Um, no configurations are available on this Panther 2, but it is $375,000. Interior is... I like it. I mean, it's not harsh to look at. The seat is kind of receded back there, so it's kind of weird. But it is a really cool uh, beet harvester. Now this, I'm going to try and crank it out this way without hitting that homer right next to me. There we go. Good job, Zach. Good job. It's really cool. I mean, beet harvesters I've always found very interesting. And then this all-wheel steering makes it really easy to make wide turns. I mean, see this big black stain on the concrete there? I was literally able to turn all the way around that where most vehicles you would not be able to do that unless you had all-wheel steer. 
and crank it in there and there we are now we can move on to our next beet harvester this is the uh, Halmer Terraphilus Terrados. Dang it, I always get the wrong one. Uh, this red one here, that's the Felis. Sorry. The Terrados T4. 40. This is 460 kilowatts and 625 horsepower. 1150 liter diesel tank, I think. Yeah, def and 95 liter def. 24 mile per hour max speed and 45,000 liter tank capacity can be attached to the HR 12 which is this header right here which is 5.4 meters wide and is very nice looking I honestly think it is and $104,000 uh, price for that header so it's actually a very expensive header that makes this thing $500,000 it's unbelievable 600,000 because it's almost 500 and that would add that's yeah that's almost six hundred thousand dollars oh my goodness but yeah no uh configurations except for wheel brand which doesn't change price trelleborg just looks better and a, a 495 price is the your price you are going to pay this one we're not going to um drive in i just find the um uh panther to be my favorite so I was going to drive in like the biggest of all of them, which I'm going to change that because this would be the biggest of all of them, I think. But my favorite of them is this uh, Panther 2. In interior of this looks very modern. It's got a very modern design. The radio and everything, the uh, power, the hydrostat, the monitor, everything looks modern. It looks really cool. Startup sound for this. It sounds very diesel. Sounds beautiful. Remember my motto, go diesel, you'll save the planet. Yeah, so that's the um, Terados from Homer. But now we move on to the Tiger 6 from Ropa. This is the Tiger 6 XL, 565 kilowatts and 768 horsepower, 1320 liter uh, fuel tank and 95 liter def tank 24 mile per hour max speed 43,000 liter tank capacity and can be attached to the RR XL 9 by 45 which is this one right here which is a $79,000 uh, header and this is $499,000 and in with this beet harvester the price actually changes for tires Trelleborgs is zero and Michelin's adds 6000 to make the maximum price for this $505,000. Interior of this Ropa Tiger 6XL looks very cool. I love how a lot of the big vehicles all have buddy seats, which once I down get P play, start playing P on the PC or my laptop, I'll download the Universal Passenger so I can actually sit in the buddy seat. Because right now on console, the buddy seat is literally useless because I can't sit in it. Nobody else can sit in it. But yeah, on this Ropa, the Ropa is actually on the chair. That is the best place to have that logo. It is awesome. Startup sound. Sounds very cool. I mean, it's not my favorite startup sound, but it does sound very decent. But yeah, now we move on to... I guess the next category, because these three are actually beet harvesters. They cut them and they um, collect the beets. These two things right here only collect. These are like pickup machines, I guess. First, we have the Ropa Mouse. This will be found right here. It's the Mouse 5, 260 kilowatts and 354 horsepower, 1,225 liter fuel tank and 95 liter def tank, 24 mile per hour max speed. 10.2 meter uh, work width and $369,000 uh, price. So it's not the base price, it is just the entire price. And this is considered to be this machine can collect sugar beets from the ground and tip them into a trailer. So uh, this is the bigger of the two. So I might actually hop into this one, show you the interior. No buddy seat in this thing because you don't really need a buddy seat to just be collecting beets. Startup sound. Sounds cool. We'll pull this out and show you guys what this looks like when it is unfolded. 
here it is unfolding itself and look at that bracket that's holding up the entire cab plus the weight of the driver it is like tiny but i do find it cool how it's like the seat actually turns i mean look at that yeah that's what this is it's really cool I, I probably will never, and ha I have never, and I probably will never use this, but it is still a cool um, thing that you can have added. Because in Farming Simulator 2017, when I was playing that, um, the Ropa DLC actually, w this was the cover vehicle. When you find, like, the main uh, picture for the Ropa DLC, this would be the vehicle that you'll find on it. Eh, I'm going to run into something. Or maybe I won't. Can I actually cut that? I can cut it. Nice. There we go. But now we move on to the Terrafilus from Homer. It is pretty much the, it is the exact same um, concept of vehicle, just a little bit cheaper. This is 260 kilowatts and 354 horsepower, so why would you not buy that? It's only 0.7 meters shorter, and it is... Um, the same exact power 1400 liter fuel tank so bigger fuel tank 91 liter def tank 24 mile per hour max speed and three hundred twenty five thousand dollar base or actual price this is terra Felis 3 this one i'm not going to be driving I just got to hop in interior all black pretty much look at that and i love the um monitors how they're always on i mean that's draining the battery but still Sounds really cool. I mean, all these vehicles so far have sounded really cool. Probably my least favorite is this Rostomosh. I mean, it's got the diesel rumble afterward, but it just doesn't sound the best. But yeah, we have gotten through forage, potato, and beet technology harvesters. Now we move on to sugarcane. This is the Case IH sugarcane harvester. I don't remember the name. It is the Ostoft. 8800 multi row, 263 kilowatts, and 358 horsepower, 480 liter fuel tank, and 70 liter uh, def tank, 6 mile per hour max speed, which is completely off. It is actually 12 mile per hour, 2 meter work width, and can harvest sugarcane. The only uh, difference is you can add attachers, standard, or trailer hitch for 800 extra, so the maximum price for this is $349,800. I've never and will never use this vehicle ever again. It is just a very crappy vehicle to me. You've got a nice interior. Uh, this sounds exactly the same as the uh, Case IH Cotton Harvester there. This we're going to take for just a very short ride. We're just going to back it up here. No, oh, I don't know why I backed up that far. I wanted to just go this way. Yeah, 12 mile per hour max speed. We're just going to go around this brick wall. Yeah, this thing's a pain in the butt because you actually have to do all the work, especially if you have a huge field. If you have a huge field of sugarcane, you're going to be sorry that you ever planted sugarcane that mu in that large of a quantity because you have to do it yourself because helpers do not work very well with this thing. And I just don't really like it. It's just not that... Uh, great of a uh, vehicle. I mean, I know the Platinum expansion of Farming Simulator 17, it was literally centered around sugarcane, but still, it is, to me, I don't like sugarcane. I've never done it in large quantity. When I have, it took me like three hours just to harvest a half an acre field just because the uh, helper wouldn't keep working and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, enough of that. Let's move on to one that I really like and that I have used a lot. This is the Case IH Module Express 635 Cotton Picker. This is a um, 305 kilowatt and 415 horsepower machine, 757 liter fuel tank. It does not have a def tank, I guess. 15 mile per hour max speed, 20,000 liter bales that it creates, 6 meter work width, 6 mile per hour ma uh, max work speed, and $485,000 base and total price and what i mean by 20,000 liter bale is that in that huge chamber behind the cab a bale gets packed in with cotton once you pick it and once it hits 20,000 liters the bale is cut 
and wrapped and then the harvester drops it off because as you can see through here I'm actually just gonna go through this one the cotton is picked through here in the rows and it goes up these um, tubes here and it gets shot through here and packed into a bale and occasionally when this is unfolded it is bigger and it will press down which it means it is compacting the bale I will show you how tall it gets once I get in here interior is very nice it's got the red seats but it does not have the case IH logo and no cup holder what is wrong with these people unless that's a cup holder oh never mind they gave me a cup holder I take that back it's underneath the armrest they're off the hook yeah unfolding the harvester makes it very tall and as you can see those pipes will follow up like that it's very cool But yeah, this we're gonna do exactly the opposite route of the co the sugarcane harvester, and I just ran into a light bulb. There's a lawsuit against me. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull around here and make a turn. Make sure there's no traffic coming. I don't like traffic on here because it always gets in the way. I remember when I played Farming Simulator 2016, one of those rare ones that nobody ever plays, which includes. Um, farming Simulator 2016 and 18. You could actually bump vehicles off the road. It was hilarious. But yeah, that is the... Um, oh, I'm going to fold this. There we go. Yeah. Now we move on to our last category. This is Tree Harvesters. Uh, this is the Sampo Rosenlu Tree Harvester, and you will find it right here. It's the HR46X, 124 kilowatts and 168 horsepower. So we're back at tiny horsepower engines. We haven't seen this since we our first episode. 180 liter fuel tank and 9 mile per hour max speed. $275,000 uh, base price. Trelleborg tires, you can have either standard or wide tires. In Olaf Spores, you can have Eco Track, Evo Baltic, EX, Kovacs, Magnum, Pro Grip F Chain, Pro Grip U Chain, and back to Eco Track. The maximum price for this is with the $4,000 and makes it $279,000. Uh, We're not going to drive in this, but I will show you the interior and startup. The interior is very cramped to me. It looks like my feet would be, my knees would be up against the window. But yeah, the startup. Oh, and by the way, with tree harvesters, you have three different camera views. You have the first person, you have at the tree, and then you have third person. I love the rumble. Very nice. Steering. Very cool. Let's move on. To one of my favorites, probably my, I mean, of all the mods adding, next to this, this is my second most used uh, tree harvester. This is the Kamatsu tree har harvester. This is the second one. This is the 931XC, uh, 185 kilowatts and 251 horsepower, 405 liter def or diesel tank, 12 mile per hour max speed. $435,000 base price, and you can see how much that jumps up in price. In wheel brands, you can just have Trelleborg Standard, Olaf's Fours Ecotrack, Evo Baltic, EX, Kovacs, Magnum, and back to Ecotrack. Maximum price for this is $8,000 extra for $443,000 max price. Interior of this looks a lot less cramped. You've got a steering wheel on the left, which is odd, but yeah, it's a lot less cramped. It's much uh, more uh, or much less claustrophobic in there. Same three camera angles. Very cool sounding engine. I love it. Now this is the big one. This is our last of the episode. This is the Ponzi Scorpion King. The king of all tree harvesters. This is 210 kilowatts and 286 horsepower, 320 liter fuel tank, 12 mile per hour max speed, and a $440,000 base price. And the black and yellow is always awesome on this vehicle. Trelleborg, standard, 
is standard. Olaf's floor is Eco Track, Evo Baltic, EX, Kovax, and Magnum. Right now, I th think I've got them in Magnums, maybe? What do I have it in? I've got it in... I think I've got it in the Magnums, yeah. It's definitely not the Kovax ones, because those uh, skirts on the side are that. It was way too much. But yeah, $448,000 is the max price for this vehicle with the wheel set up. Yeah, this one we're going to drive around a little bit. Interior is very, looks very comfortable to me, honestly. You look like you're just nestled in here perfectly. We're going to... This is how you can operate it. You've got in, out... Down, which lifts up the harvester, which is funny. Up. Side. To side. And then I think it's, uh, which way? I'm trying to figure out the way that it, um... Oh yeah, that turns that. And then I'm trying to figure out the way... Oh, I guess it doesn't uh, fold in very much. But yeah, that extends it. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. But yeah, that, this sound up, the sound startup of this is really cool. It almost sounds like the, um, the potato harvester over there. It sounds really cool. Now this one we're going to be driving just because it is so awesome and it's the biggest. Yee yee! This one will just take around the parking lot and go out on the street with. Wow, that's a weird view. That is a very weird view. Oh my goodness, I thought I was going to run into something instantly there. Don't get this machine hit by the train. That would be putting you $440,000 in the hole. And look at that. When you're going at max speed, it's like the tracks are barely turning. That's funny. But yeah, that is the Ponzi Scorpion King, and that is our last miscellaneous harvester of the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. We have reviewed everything from the Rostomosh RSM 2560, the New Holland Forge Cruiser FR78, or 780, the Crone Big X 1180, The Grimmy Veritron 470 Platinum Terra Track. The Ropa Panther 2. The Homer Terra Dose. The Homer or the Ropa Tiger 6XL. The Ropa Mouse. Squeak squeak. The Homer Terra Felis. The 8800 Sugar Cane Harvester from Case IH. The Case IH 635 Module Express from Case IH. Sorry, I said Case IH twice there. The Sample Rosenlu HR46. The Kamatsu, which I lose the name, so I won't be saying the name. <laughs> and then, of course, the Ponzi Scorpion King. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please, if you love this video, and you probably watched my video from earlier reviewing the 4940 self-propelled sprayer from Custom Modding, if you love this video, please leave a like below. Smash the like button. And also, if you want to receive all the rest of my in-game garage tour, plus my upcoming series on a map that I... I kind of want the subscribe the commenters to uh, put down in the comment section of what map they want me to use, but currently the map is undecided. Although I do have a couple of options in mind. Yeah, yes, please. If you want to receive all videos and that upcoming series, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell and click all notifications. That will allow you to receive all videos that I post in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. Big shout out to Serious Mods once again for um, really boosting my the reputation of my channel before he uh, watched my video I had like 50 views and after he watched my video and liked it and commented I have over a hundred views now and six subscribers yeah but yeah thank you so much serious 
uh, I'll be watching your streams for the rest of my life, probably. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe. I am the Lone Wolf, and I will see you later. Thanks, guys.